Hi everyone, hope you all must be doing great. So today we are starting with the revision of set off and carry forward of losses. One of the easiest chapter of income tax, but at the same time important also because you do find questions coming from this particular chapter also. So uh, here we will discuss what is set off, what is carry forward in set off, what is intra head set off, what is inter head set off. So I believe that you know all these words. Let me revise them quickly. So what is set off of losses and what is the difference between carry forward and losses? So set off means by set off, if, we'll, if I'll say just set off of losses, set off of losses means that if there is a losses in any year and the assessee is setting it off from the same year profit, same year, he's not going in another year, he's setting it off from the same year itself. That is simply called set off of losses. What is carry forward? If assessee could not set off in that very year, then that assessee can carry forward the losses to the subsequent years. Then the losses of one year will be carried forward to subsequent years and the subsequent years it will be set off. So that is called carry forward in set off, right? So you know the difference between the two? Set off means same year losses are getting set off from the same year profits. Carry forward means losses of one year are being carried forward they are taken away from one year to another year they are being carried forward and they will be set off in subsequent year that is called carry forward in set off okay then we have to do what is intra head set off and what is inter head set off i believe that you know what is the difference between the two intra and inter intra head set off means that if uh, there is a loss in any particular hit, in any particular hit from any source, there is a loss, then that loss will be set off from the same head, from the same head itself. So let's say there is an assessee, uh, that assessee has, uh, let's say that assessee has a uh, house property income. That person has house property income, house property one. In fact, he has two uh, houses. There is house property one where there is a loss of rupees one lakh, and in house property two, there there is a profit of let's say two point two lakh. So in this case, if this loss, this house property one loss, there were two or more house properties. So if assessee is setting it off uh, in the same head itself, that is called intra head set off. Intra head set off. Same similarly, if assessee is running two or more businesses. And from one business, there is a loss and from other business, there is a profit. So from one business, uh, the losses of one business can be set off from the business of another. There are some restrictions also, but yes, this is intra head that uh, uh, the losses are being set off from the same head itself. And what is inter head? Inter head means it's same thing like inter caste, right? Uh, uh, let's say there is a girl of one caste. She is getting married to a boy of another caste. So that, that is called inter caste marriages. Same way we have inter head set off also. So inter head you understand, let's say if there is a loss in PGVP, if there is a loss in PGVP, can this be set off from any other head, let's say capital gain or not that we will see, but this is called inter head when the losses of one head are being set off from the profits of another heads, right? Okay. So first we will discuss intra head. Are there any conditions? Are there any restrictions? Can it be set off or it cannot be set off? So that we have to see. So first we are discussing section 70, although there is no requirement to learn the section number of, especially of this particular chapter, there's no requirement, not, not so important. Section numbers are not so important, but yes, the provision you should remember and that these provisions are very, very easy. Okay. We'll see five heads. We have five heads of income and we will see one by one. First of all is salary. So can there be losses in salary? The answer is no, there can be, cannot be any loss in salary. So uh, losses of uh, the losses of salary, there is no requirement to set it off. So th that is, is uh, that is absolutely not applicable, right? Can a person has a loss from house property? The answer is yes, because when we uh, did our revision of house property, we have discussed that the, let's say if the assessee is paying for the self-occupied property, the assessee is, let's say the assessee is following uh, optional tax regime and uh, he's paid, uh, the assessee has paid interest for that particular house, uh, he has taken a loan and that person is paying interest, then there could be losses also. And otherwise there could be losses in house property, there could be losses in PGBP and capital gain and so on. 
So about house property, if a person has, let's say, two or more houses, if the person has here by houses, I mean building, right? So if the person has two or more buildings and from one building, that person is getting a loss, can it be set off from any other building in the same head? The answer is yes. So house property losses can be set off from profits of another house property. This is intra head set off which we are doing, right? It, this is not intra caste. This, this is not intra caste mar uh, marriage. This is intra head set up, right? So house property, there is no problem. Whether the assessee is following optional tax regime, whether the assessee is following your default tax regime in house property, inter head set off, there is a difference. I'll tell you this. This is very important. Then this, this is an amendment also. I'll tell you that also. But for intra head, there is no problem. Intra head from house property one to house property two, you can easily set it up. Correct. Okay. Second is third head is PGBP. So can we have a losses in PGBP? The answer is absolutely yes, we can have losses in PGBP. So the if assessee is having more than one business or one, more than one profession, can the uh, losses of one business can be set off from the profits of another business or not? The general answer is yes. The general answer is yes, but yes, there are certain restrictions. So we know that we divide these businesses into three parts. First category is speculative business. So if the assessee is running speculative business and in th that case, in speculative business, there is a loss. So such loss cannot be set off from normal businesses. These losses can only be set off from any other speculative business. So can I say that P in PGBP intra head can be freely set off? The answer is no. It depends upon that the losses are from which type of business. If it is speculative business, so, so first of all, I'm discussing about speculative. So if the business speculative, like uh, the, uh, uh, like for example, casino business, uh, the SSE is running. So this is a kind of speculative business. So there are so many examples of speculative business. So if SSE is running a speculative business and if there is a loss in speculative business, it can be set off only from any other speculative business only, not from non-speculative. Non-speculative, I can also say normal business. Let's say SSE has a business of computers, SSE has a business of clothes. So is it speculative business? No, these are normal business. I can say non-speculative. But for speculative, it can be set up from speculative profits only. Got it? Simple, easy. Specified business. If SSE has a losses from specified business, what are the specified business? So we know we did PGVP, we know PGVP uh, very thoroughly and we understand there is a section, section 35 AD where there are 14 types of businesses. So um, five star, two star or above category hotels, hospital of 100 beds or so, uh, production, uh, manufacture of fertilizers, storage, warehousing storage, sugar storage. So we did those 14 types of businesses that is in specified business. So if assessee is running a specified business and if there is a loss, such losses can only be set off with those 14 types of businesses only. So specified business losses can only be set off from any other income of specified business only. So th they have a very restricted family of 14 family members. So with, with, among them, they can easily set off. Let's say if assessee has a business of a two star or above category hotel, let's say he has a five star hotel. And also he has a, um, that 100 beds or more hospital also. Both are spe specified business. So losses of a hotel, a five star hotel or two star or above category hotel or so, that ho hotel losses can be set off from the profits of that particular hospital. So they have a very restricted family of 14 family members. It can be set off from that only, correct? Okay. And what about, so can I say in PGVP, they are freely, uh, they can freely be set off from any other PGVP. So the answer is first you have to check whether that business is speculative. It is speculative, then restrict that to only speculative profits. And if it is specified business losses, please restrict that to that particular 14 types of specified business only. But yes, in case if the business is not speculative, it is not specified, then we say normal business, normal business, or that we can also call it as a non-speculative are you all getting this so if it is a non-speculative normal business normal business losses can be set off from any other business they can be set off from any other business no problem 
can this normal business losses can be set off from spec speculative and specified the answer is yes but a vice versa is not correct right so if speculative business has a loss can it be set off from normal no but normal business loss can be set off from any businesses correct okay so this i have already mentioned for this capital gain so in capital gain we understand that capital gain has two brothers one is elder brother and second one is younger brother so who is the younger brother short term is a younger brother and elder brother is a uh, long term is the elder brother so if assessee has a loss in capital gain first of all tell me which capital gain whether it is short term or long term if it is short term so younger brother can take help of elder one the answer is yes so younger one can take help of elder one so short term losses can be set off short term losses can be set off from short term also long term also but this elder brother has so much of ego this elder brother long term has so much of ego he cannot take help he cannot take help he, his ego will be hurt in that case so he will say no long term capital if there is a in long term capital gain i should say long term capital loss so if there is a loss in long term uh, capital loss so it cannot be set off from short term it can be set off from long term so these elder brother can take help of any other elder brother but they can they will not take help of the younger one right short term losses can be set off from stcg or ltcg but long term losses can be set off only from ltcg correct and fifth is if a assessee is having a such type of business which is owning and maintaining race horses you understand if the person is has, having a race horse establishment establishment in that case the losses from such race horse establishment this type of income is covered under ifos although this is a kind of pgvp but specifically this kind of income is taxable under ifos so if a person is having a, a business of running and maintaining race horse horse races and uh, he has a race horse establishment is it a casual income no because that that person is into this business it is not winning right it is not winning but this person is having a business of organizing these race horses so in that case such losses can be set off from such income only that is horse race establishment losses can be set off from any other horse race establishment profits only got it so this is intrahead set off on the other hand what is interhead set off Interhead set off, as I have already discussed, it is like inter caste marriage. Uh, uh, a boy belongs to one uh, particular caste, and the girl belongs to another particular caste, and they are getting married. So this is called inter caste marriage. The same way, it is interhead set off. So interhead set off is that if a person has a losses in salary, in salary we cannot have. Okay. So if a person has losses in house property, can it be set off from any other head? The answer is now here is an amendment in house property. If the person is following, this is an important amendment, and uh, I am quite sure that this can come in your exam also, specifically in MCQ. So, if a person has losses in house property, if a person has losses in house property, can that person then assess he can set it off from PGVP capital gain or IFOS? The answer is no. If the assess is following default tax regime, if the assess is following default tax regime, simply no. So in default tax regime, house property losses cannot be set off from other heads. But if the assessee is following optional tax regime, that is old tax regime, if the assessee is following, then house property losses can be set off from any other head also. But there is a restriction of 2 lakh rupees. That is, uh, that is not a new amendment that is coming from very, uh, it's uh, just two or three years uh, this is not a new amendment. I think it's been two or three years that this was uh, there. So if there is a loss in uh, house property, so can it be set off from any other head? So if the person is following default tax regime, the answer is no, not allowed. But if the person is following optional tax regime, then it can be set off from any other heads also. But maximum up to 2 lakh. PGBP, tell me. PGBP losses, if a person has having a loss in PGBP, can it be set off from house property? Can it be set off from uh, uh, capital gain, salary or so? The answer is there is some restriction. PGBP losses can be set off from any other heads except salary. Except salary, we cannot set, uh, set off the losses of PGBP from salary income. So PGBP losses cannot be set off from salary. Second thing is that 
it cannot be set off from casual income also in fact from casual income no losses can be set off so if a person is having let's say casual income winning from lottery crossword puzzle etc so from that income you cannot set off any of the losses so that is by default you cannot set set off any of the losses from casual income but yes pgb losses cannot be set off from salary and of course casual income but 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 if there is a loss under the head speculative business loss if there is a pgb loss but that is speculative business losses can speculative business losses can be set off from any other head the answer is no because they have restriction in the same head itself right so speculative business loss can be set off only from a speculative business profit nothing else so there was a restriction in intra head itself so yes there will be restriction in inter head also so speculative business no they cannot be set off from any other head in fact they have restriction in the same head itself got it specified business again they have restriction in the same head itself they can only be set off from among those 14 family members correct and losses under head capital gain if the assessee has losses from capital gain so you understand that capital gain has ego they cannot they cannot take help from any other head they, they will not take help from any other head in fact the elder one has quite a strong ego in fact he don't take help from the younger one but yes younger one can take the help uh, from any other younger sibling or that younger younger i, I mean short term so short term if there is a losses of short term losses ca uh, capital losses they can take help from short term or they can take help from the long term right but they cannot take help they cannot go outside of their house they have ego they will not take help from any other right and you understand long term will not go will not go anywhere else and in fact that long term will not go even to take help from the younger one also right so long term capital gain or short term capital sorry long term capital loss or short term capital loss inter head is not allowed and owning and maintaining resources of course no because they can be set off from same type of businesses of owning and maintaining resources so they cannot be set off from any other head right there's an important note so if assessee has a loss from this is very important specifically for examination so if assessee has a loss from exempt source so what is exempt source let's say agriculture income section 10 income so section 10 income is nothing but exempt source so if assessee has please tell me if assessee is uh, having an agriculture business income from india so agriculture income from india is it taxable the answer is no we don't tax that agriculture income uh, that is from india right and if it is from outside india yes it is taxable under ifos but right now i'm talking about agriculture income which is from india uh it is exempt under section 10 okay if assessee has a loss from agriculture activities if assessee has a loss can such losses be set will be allowed to be set off from any other head the answer is no why because that is from exempt source if there is a positive income government is not taxing it right so if there is a negative income how can we set it off from any other head so this is a tricky question which examiner often gives to students in exam so please uh, remember that that in case there is a loss from any exempt source like there is a losses from agriculture activities then it is a dead loss it is a dead loss please do not set it off from any other income right because this is from exempt source got it this was important now we'll understand what is uh, we'll do what is carry forward in set of losses carry forward means that if assessee has a loss as i have already discussed if assessee has a loss in one year and if it could not be set off if it could not be set off in that year itself then ultimately we will carry it forward we will carry it forward so can we carry forward the losses the answer is yes we can carry it forward but yes there are certain restrictions also and please remember a thumb rule the thumb rule is that that whenever the losses will be carried forward whenever the losses will be carried forward it will be set off it will be set off from the same head itself so what is what is inter head so inter head is only in the case of set off in the same year we can uh, in the same year we can set off from any other head also but if in case we this is the if there is a question of carry forward of losses 
if there is a loss of any past year and it is being brought forward to any year, another other year that is carried forward to another year then it will be set off from the same head itself it will not be set off from another head correct so this is the thumb rule first of all let's discuss about this so can the losses of salary can be carried forward so no question arises of losses in the red salary so that is simply not applicable okay losses from house property if there is a loss from house property if it could not be set off in the same year can it be carried forward the answer is yes it can be carried forward and maximum year or the period which it can be carried forward is eight assessment years correct next is if there is a losses from pgbp can it be carried forward so it again depends what kind of pgbp losses uh, it is so if it is a speculative business losses it can be carried forward maximum four years so speculative please remember for speculative you can carry it forward for maximum four years specified business losses can be carried forward for unlimited period of time right and normal business losses that is non-speculative can be carried forward for eight years right i'm again repeating it if there is a speculative business loss speculative business loss only four years specified business loss unlimited period and normal business losses can be carried forward for eight assess next eight assessment years right and it is very important to note that in case you would like to carry forward these losses if you would like to carry forward these losses then it is important that your return of income should be filed up to the due date of roi it should be filed up to the due, due, due date of roi in case the return is filed late if in case the return is filed late then in that case we cannot carry forward the losses there is an exception to that house property losses are allowed house property losses are allowed to be carried forward even if the return is filed late i believe that you know uh, these provisions right so house property losses and second is unabsorbed depreciation and yes there are some siblings of unabsorbed depreciation unabsorbed capital expenditure on scientific research unabsorbed capital expenditure on family planning these are similar to uh, unabsorbed depreciation so if there is unabsorbed depreciation and house property losses they can even be carried forward even if the return of income is filed late but in case there is any other losses like pgvp capital gain etc if there is any losses in these particular head it will be only be allowed to be carried forward if the return is filed on time that is up to the due date of roi okay so business we understand so normal business losses eight years speculative business losses four years and specified business losses infinite period of time okay and yes return must be filed 139.1 is the section for written filing right losses under the head capital gains so capital gain losses can be carried forward to subsequent years maximum eight years return should be filed on time losses from owning and active uh, and maintaining resources it is a kind of speculative business right so again we will give four years so for speculative business four years and these kinds of businesses also similar types of businesses four years and return should be filed on time right this i have already discussed that if there is any losses uh, in uh, any of the year and it will be carried forward so it will be carried forward it will be set off from the same head itself not from any other head if it is a case case of carry forward of losses unabsorbed depreciation i have already discussed that unabsorbed depreciation can be set off from uh, can be carried forward to unlimited number of years even if the return is filed late it can be carried forward and please remember it can be set off so there is an exception to the rule the rule was that whenever the in, uh, losses will be carried forward it will be set off from the same head itself but there is an exception to that rule unabsorbed depreciation and uh, same with unabsorbed depreciation on uh, unabsorbed capital expenditure on scientific research unabsorbed capital expenditure on family planning also it can be set off it can be carried forward for unlimited number of years even if the return is filed late and the exception is they can be set off in those years from any other head also except salary and of course casual income you cannot set it off so unabsorbed depreciation it is being carried forward it can be set off from other heads also except salary right and of course casual income you understand so what should be the order of set off the order of set off should be first of all if there is a current year losses first of all before carrying it forward or before uh, bringing other losses uh, the past year losses first of all you should understand that if there is any current year expenses current year losses and current year depreciation should be given the preference i'm saying current year depreciation right 
So if there is any current year losses or current year depreciation or current year expenses on scientific research or family planning, it should be given preference. First of all, you should set it off all the expenses, all the losses which are related to current year. If these current year losses and unabsorbed or, or the de depreciation has been set off, then you will see if there is any losses of the past years, then whatever is the broad forward losses, then you give the preference. So if there is any broad forward losses of past year, then you have to give that preference. And if there is any unabsorbed depreciation or unabsorbed capital expenditure family planning of the last year also, then it should come at last. Why? Because broad forward losses has a limited time period. Let's say we have four years or eight years in um, many of the cases. So broad forward losses has limited time, but unabsorbed depreciation, unabsorbed capital expenditure, scientific research, unabsorbed cap uh, capital ex expenditure on family planning, they have unlimited time, right? So they should, uh, it should, it will come at last in the order, right? So first of all, current year expenses or current year depreciation should, should be set off, then broad forward losses and then unabsorbed depreciation. So between these three, you can set it off any, you can set it off between these three, there is no order. Even unabsorbed depreciation, you can set it up first, unabsorbed scientific research, unabsorbed capital expenditure or family planning, or either in, in either of the combination, right? So there is no issue in that. Although I have written this on fourth point and then in the last point we have written, I have written about scientific research and family planning. Otherwise, there is no problem. Even I I could write this point first and this could this point at last also. Okay. Next is losses from discontinued business. If a CC has a losses, if a person is running, a person was running a business and this, that person has closed the business. So what will happen? That is called a discontinued business. So if there is a loss in a discontinued business, can it be set off? The answer is yes. If the same CC is running the same business, if the, sorry, if the same CC is running another business, then that person can easily set off the loss from one business which has been closed down. Let's say SSE was running a business of shoes. Like, uh, let's say he has a footwear business of shoes and there was a loss. He shut down that business and now he had opened another business of textiles. So if there was a loss from discontinued business, it can easily be set off from any other business by the same SSE, by the same SSE. But the question is, can any other SSE also can take our losses? The answer is no. The general rule is that if the person who has incurred the losses, the SSE who has incurred the losses, that person only should set off the losses also, right? It cannot be given to any other SSE. But yes, there is some certain exceptions and in intermediate, we have one exception that if the legal heir, the legal heir of that SSE inherits that business, the legal heir of the uh, of the SSE inherits the business and that legal heir continues the same business. If that legal heir continues the same business. In that case, that legal heir can also carry forward the losses. Otherwise, that losses can only be set off by the same SSE itself. But yes, here there is an exception. If the legal heir continues the same business, let's say if the legal heir opens another business, then it is not allowed, right? But if the legal heir continues the same business, then it is allowed, right? Okay, this I have discussed now. Succession of business by way of inheritance, then someone else who is a legal heir, that person can uh, set off the losses. And uh, this point is not that important, but let me discuss this point also. Losses carry forward by a partnership firm. So why I have given this point over here? Let's say there were three partners. Partner A, partner B, and partner C. They were three equal partners, one third, one third, one third each. And let's say in this year, there is a loss of 3 lakh. There is a loss of 3 lakh, which is incurred by this partnership firm. And if I distribute the losses between these partners, it will be 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 1 lakh each loss. Let's say A retires. Let's say A retires. So we understand the losses of a business can be carried forward for next eight years. We understand this. But let's say A gets retired. In that case, if A gets retired, then can this partnership firm carry forward this 3 lakh rupees loss in subsequent year? The answer is no. Whatever the share of loss of that retiring partner was cannot be carried forward. So in that case, his share was 1 lakh. So these two partners are continuing and their share is 2 lakh. So in subsequent year, this partnership firm can only carry forward 2 lakh rupees losses, right? Because this 
partner is now retired we cannot carry forward the losses which are related to this particular partner right but yes again there is an exception let's say a is retired now or a unfortunately is uh, died in that case let's say a legal heir joins this firm as a partner a legal heir so there is person a junior a junior joins this firm as a partner then we can carry forward the entire loss of 3 lakh otherwise not right otherwise not so this was about this chapter set off and carry forward of losses it's a very easy chapter and at the same time important also i would uh, highly uh, recommend that please um, uh, you should do all your questions which are given at the back side of your study material that is very important and most of the time you will see in the past examination paper also most of the time you see that these questions are somewhat related to those which are given at the back side of your study material right so we'll continue in our next lecture and uh, next lecture would be related to uh, your uh, chapter 6 a section 80 c to 80 u again a very important chapter till then thank you so much bye bye and take care mm -hmm.